Hi, this is James Melendez, James the Tech Guy with Quick Hit number two. Now, I'm using Final Cut Express, and probably a lot of you out there that are using Final Cut Express are probably teaching yourself, or you might have taken a class, but there are some fine points that I would say are difficult to come by an answer for. Now, I was trying to do a voiceover because I had some nice video. I didn't want to use my original audio recording because I didn't think it sounded, it, I didn't get the content I wanted, first of all. I wanted my sound quality to be a little different. Now, I thought, oh, great, I Final Cut Express, I can use this great tool. So, there are some difficulties I found along the way, which is if you open up your, your video and you're going to bring this to, you know, import this, open it up. So there's my clip here. Now, with this clip here, I'm just going to go and bring it to my timeline immediately. Now, at one point, I would just be able to go to Tools, VoiceOver, and it says no recording range. And I thought, oh, geez, what am I, how do I do this? Kept hitting this thinking, well, maybe it'll change once I kept hitting the red button. As you can see, it's grayed out. There's nothing you can do about that. So I found that to be really, really superbly frustrating. Went online, couldn't find a YouTube video, and that's, again, trying to save you hours, not hours. I didn't spend a couple hours on this. I probably spent a, a really frustrating maybe 35 minutes trying to figure it out. I came upon the answer by myself. So I really want to share this with you because hopefully it'll save you some time. Now, at this point, you can't do a recording. You see your timeline is filled with the content. Perfect. Now, what you're going to have to do is we're going to have to obviously save the project. Call it Getty Villa 2. It's saved. So at this point, you still can't record. Now, if you want to, you can render this, but guess what? It's not going to change no recording range set messaging. It's still going to be there. So how do you work through this? Well, what I found was if you go to the effects tab, you're going to bring over slug. And when you bring in slug, you'll see that it's placed there. But guess what? Your target is different. It says sequence one, track A2. Now, I'm gonna take that out immediately. Now it's still there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I can record from here. But before you do that, you might wanna take out the original audio because if you want it in there, you can follow it, but it's actually, for me, it's a little distracting. So I'm gonna lock up the video. I'm gonna delete the audio. Perfect. Now I can begin my recording voiceover. So we're going to start right now. It's going to just be a few seconds. I'm not going to do a, the whole recording. It's just a little too long. Hi, this is James Melendez, James the Tech Guy, James the Travel Guy. I'm in the Getty Villa in Malibu, Southern California, an extremely beautiful replication, replica of Roman antiquity. So I, I stopped the recording right here. Now at this point, you see that it's in the timeline, perfect. What you won't be able to do at this point is to play it back. See, because you get the warning, dropped frames. Well, okay, that's easily resolved. You never have to go through that again because you're going to render that. Once you render that, you can play back your video. And there you go, you can save 35, 40 minutes and you don't have to go through what I went through. So I don't know if that's a flaw in the program or that there's a different way of sequencing this. I tried all sorts of methods, but this is the one that worked for me. And I find it very interesting because on some previous videos that I did a voiceover for, I didn't have to go through this. So it's one learnings that you can learn and uh, take away hopefully and save you some time. For more reviews, please follow my channel, James the Travel Guy on YouTube. Thank you.